Good morning. Today we are going to talk about the held items and costumes that are on the other version. So translations for those. Link is in the description as usual and let's go. And as usual, I'm just going to zoom in so that we can see. So new items and costumes, it's 6.4.0 in the Portuguese version, has at least two new costumes. So one of them, it's Nessa. Nessa, in battle, all of your Pokemon receive 6% tenacity, defense and special defense. Double of this for water type Pokemon. Another costume for water type Pokemon, but I guess it makes sense because of Overlord Urshifu coming out and he is a fighting type and water type Pokemon. We also have Kiawe over here in battle. All of your Pokemon receive 5% HP hit and physical defense. Double for fairy type Pokemon. Now this costume doesn't make much sense because he is a fire type trainer and increasing hit and physical defense physical defense all the costumes usually give you like both defenses or both attacks so that it's balanced between pokemon now this guy giving you physical defense for fairy type pokemon and not for fire one i i would assume this could be bugged or a bad translation or something but we just have to wait and find out now held items keep in mind that all the held items that you guys might want to see and read about they are over here in pokeland legends club over here you guys can see any held item in the game and let's for example say the held item for ivaltal if there is already the two star version available uh as a information, you guys can see over here the two star version effects that it gives on any held item possible. But going back to the translations, we have a held item for Overlord Kyogre and a held item for Overlord Groundland. Now, kinda interesting and at the same time a little bit disappointing. So if this item is held by Overlord Kyogre, there's a 34% chance of applying one layer of Water Overlord to all of your Water type Pokemon. This is basically more damage reduction because Water Overlord is the passive of Overlord Kyogre, offers damage reduction to your Pokemon. Sadly, it's only for Water type Pokemon, so it doesn't feel like it's the greatest addition to Black and White, for example and gets a shield equal to 8% of your own max HP. Keeping in mind that this 8%, this is a basic effect at plus five. If we go and take a look at the plus nine one that we already have access, it's 16%. But then again, we have no information if this is for the team or if it's just for Kyogre itself. The same logic will be for the Heart Trail over here, right? So it's a held item for Overlord Groundon, could be useful for Flare and Zygar teams, right? Uh, there's the 34% chance of applying one layer of Fierce Flame to all enemy Pokémon. At least this is better, you are applying a debuff of Overlord Groundon to your enemy Pokémon and gets a shield of 8% to your own max HP. And of course, if we go to the plus 9, it's bigger, it's 16%. The thing is, same thing as uh, Kyogre, I have no idea if this uh, shield is for ground in itself or if it is for the team. If it would be for the team, it would be very nice. If it's not for the team, doesn't feel like something. We also have a held item for Overlord Urshifu, Water Boxing Glove, and if held by Overlord Urshifu, it can become Super Dynamax. This is the exact description that it has, okay? The translation is not wrong. It, the, the description can be wrong, but my translation was not wrong, okay? This is exactly what it says, transforms the Overlord into Super Dynamax. I believe that it could be similar to Overlord Melmetal that we have over here in our English version, where if you give it a held item, it gets the skills of the Super Dynamax Pokémon. Also gets one layer of Urshifu's exclusive combo effect at the start, but the thing is, if we go over here and see the plus 9 effect, because the other one is a plus 5, it's the basic effect, the plus 9, it actually gets two layers. Reminding you guys that the Urshifu exclusive combo effect is more damage. For each layer that you have, it's 20% more damage that the Urshifu will deal to the enemy. And this, this over here, I think it stacks up to 5 times, so you are getting up to 100% more damage. So if Urshifu in the future ever becomes something good, getting the held item to get even more damage for your Urshifu is a good thing, because then that way you can just invest on other stats like speed and HP. And on top of that, it has a 30% chance of getting another layer of this specific buff when releasing a water type attack. I personally think that Urshifu or Overlord Urshifu looks very cool, 
but I'm not sure if it is in the meta. I don't think... Uh, if the Dynamax doesn't have, like, very good things, I don't think it will fit in the meta. Let's go to Night Cloak because it's a held item for Overlord Machado. Makes a lot of players happy, a lot of people love Overlord Machado. There's a lot of people who build it, at least starting the account with it. A lot of people do that. So, held item for Overlord Machado, there's a 34% chance of absorbing all the buffs from a random enemy. Not bad. And removes all Machado's debuffs on each action. This is awesome. If if it is on each round that uh, Marshado moves and he gets all of his debuffs removed, it's freaking awesome. And the plus 9 effect, there is nothing much different. I am expecting for the double star to have some very cool effects for Marshado. I, I, I would actually be hyped about it, even though it's not a meta Pokemon, but it's a fun Pokemon to play and it's a Pokemon that a lot of people enjoy. So it would be interesting to see what are the double star effects of this held item in the future. And usually we say, last but not least, <laughs> But this is last and least, I, I don't know. Proof of Glory. It's a held item for Overlord Keldeo to increase skill power. Now, I'm okay with that. But the problem is, all of the other held items, they were missing skill power. For example, Marshadow's held item. If it would give skill power for Marshadow, it would be even better, right? Now, we have over here the item for Overlord Keldeo. And it gives you... Uh, skill power by 38% at plus 9 and there's a 45% chance of getting a guardian soul on each action this is nice this is nice yes but who the heck uses overlord keldeo nobody unless they are thinking about giving overlord keldeo a buff or like new abilities in the future to make overlord keldeo at least like somehow um uh, decent in the meta, but no, I don't think Overlord Caldeo will ever be decent in the meta. It will need like a big rework on his skills and passives and whatever. But it for sure could be a very good starter Pokemon. It's 1k uni shards, if you get the Caldeo on the capsules, this could be interesting, yes. So again, if you want to read this article or share with your friends, link is in the description. But bonus thing for those who are here watching until the end of the video, let's go over here to the Portuguese version. There's a hell item that is not over there in the article because it also has like no specific, um, no specific icon. We have over here, let's just go up. It's exactly the same, right? It's exactly the same. So we have an attack meteorite for Overlord Deoxys, but apparently there's some kind of a leak and thanks to whoever shared uh, this with me on Discord. And this is basically the leak. Meteorite of attack for a resonance. That's all it says. It, uh, if it is hold by resonance Deoxys, transforms resonance Deoxys into attack form. And as we were talking about yesterday, let me just go out over here. Not yesterday, probably like two days ago on the latest video. Imagine Overlord Tapolele with a lot of action points on her passive together with Speed Deoxys that gets action points on the passive, action points on the ultimate, action points everywhere. I can imagine a resonance Speed Deoxys basically just moving f the, for the first time. If you let it move for the first time, it will probably not stop moving. I can see that happening and it would be hilarious to see. But hey, this is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys on the next video.